In this short video we will look at abutment soakers, what they are, where to use them and why if you have a roof that requires them you probably haven't got them. First of all an abutment soaker like this one is an unseen gutter that should be used on any flat profile single overlap roof tiles where a roof meets a wall or a chimney. Let's take this Photoshop mock-up as a common example of a roof abutting a wall and we imagine that the roof tiles are a flat single overlap variety like for instance a Marley Modern. Over here you can see a standard cover flashing that hides the join between the roof and the abutting wall. Now using the powers of Photoshop we can remove these flashings and you can see the abutment gap. Now this gap could obviously allow water into the roof if there was nothing in there to capture it. That's where an abutment soaker comes in. Let's remove some roof tiles and have a closer look. This is a fiberglass abutment soaker and traditionally they would have been made out of sections of overlapping lead and if we have a look at it in profile you can see how it works. The soaker sits on top of the buttons or tiling laths. Underneath that is the membrane or roofing felt that sits on top of the rafters and returns up the face of the abutting wall. With this soaker fixed into place a bed of mortar is often seated on a sandy strip on the soaker situated here. With the mortar in situ and the roof tiles above placed on you can see how the soaker takes away any water seepage into the deepest gutter part of the soaker and deposits it into the main guttering below. Now if we look at this real life example of a common interlocking single overlap roof often we will be talking about roof tiles like mini stone walls, Marley moderns or similar. But it could also be other flat profile interlocking tiles such as Geminis, mini slates, edge mirrors to name but a few. Now let's just zoom in for a second and we can take a closer look at the cover flashings to these dormer cheeks and it's under these very lead cover flashings that abutment soakers should be fitted and it's the fact that you can't see them that often earns them the name of secret gutter. Obviously we can't see underneath the lead so we don't know if they've been fitted in this case or not. Now let's have a quick look at what can go wrong if abutment soakers aren't fitted. If we look at this slightly older roof in fact it's about 12 years old you can easily see the cover flashings flashed onto the roof tiles. Now if we gently lift up these flashings to look underneath them you will see this. Rainwater has either blown or has crept underneath the lead flashings. Because there isn't any sort of secondary waterproofing such as an abutment soaker the felt or breather membrane underneath has slowly been leaked on probably from the very first day the roof was installed. The first thing that creates a leak like this is the angle of creep. As water runs down the surface of the roof tile it cannot always be relied upon to take a perfectly vertical route to the guttering below. Often some sort of sideways movement will occur and this gets worse the shallower the pitch or the longer the run of flashings. When this occurs near cover flashings water can find its way underneath and onto the undersarking slowly damaging it over time. Another common factor is exposure. Basically this means exposure to weather. Driving rain or wind can easily push underneath the flashings to create problems. And of course even worse is a combination of the two. Here on this small porch roof the short distance from the top to the bottom and its sheltered construction means a leak is very unlikely. But if we add guttering down pipes like these that are in the direct vicinity of the flashings the odds of a leak increase. Now if you combine a valley, a downpipe, a long run of flashings and an exposed location like this I think you can see it really is just a matter of time before a serious leak. So now we know what an abutment soaker is and what it does and what can happen without them. Let's talk about why they're often not fitted on private houses or building sites by roofers. At first appearance the culprit seems obvious but I'm afraid it's all too easy to blame the roofers. If we dig a little deeper a more complicated picture emerges. 
If you're a private individual watching this video, imagine for a moment that you own a roofing firm and you're responsible for the wages and welfare of the people that you employ. Now imagine you're asked to tender to fit roofs to all houses on a building estate. You can guarantee you will be competing against at least two other roofing companies in exactly the same situation as you. Now the chances are that when they quote, they will trim out the maximum additional costs wherever possible. And this will almost certainly mean unseen waterproofing measures like secret abutment soakers. This leaves you with two distinct quotation options. You can either provide a quote with all the correct waterproofing measures, which will not only be higher per house, but substantially higher for the whole housing estate. Basically what this means in real terms is that you can wave goodbye to the chances of securing the contract. Or choice B is to do what most other roofers will do. Ignore abutment soakers and any other non-obvious finish details and rely on the roof undersarking to mop up any leaks until the NHBC guarantee runs out. This way you may actually be in with a chance of winning the contract. OK, so now we know what abutment soakers are and why they're often missing. That pretty much covers this basics of abutment soakers video. If you want to see how to fit one, please click the links provided here or in the description bar. And if you want to see how to fit lead flashings that are associated with this, please visit the website. OK, I hope this has been useful. Thanks for watching.